two bombers, two nations, one race for invisibility. Over the Pacific, the B-21 Raider and China's H-20 prepare for a war no one will see coming. They don't roar, they whisper, and hidden inside them are engines that decide everything. In this new age of stealth, facts about these two are classified. Everything is built on theory and speculation, but one thing we do know is the battle begins long before the first missile is fired. The B-21 Raider was designed for endurance and adaptability. Every line and intake of its exhaust was engineered to fool satellites, radars, and infrared eyes. China's H-20, on the other hand, was born out of ambition to end America's monopoly on intercontinental stealth bombers. It's designed to strike as far as Guam, maybe even Hawaii, from deep within mainland China and return unseen. Both aircraft share the flying wing silhouette that is smooth, curving, and radar absorbent, but their engines could not be more different. The B-21's beating heart likely consists of two Pratt and Whitney F-135 derivatives, which is the same family that powers the F-35 Lightning II. Each engine is believed to produce around 28,000 pounds of thrust. Combined, that's enough to push a fully loaded bomber across continents with quiet precision. These engines are fine-tuned for stealth and efficiency. Their low bypass ratio of about 0.57 keeps exhaust velocity lower and heat more diffused. The H-20, on the other hand, is expected to rely on four engines, possibly a variant of the WS-10 or the next-generation WS-15, both designed by China's Aero Engine Corporation. Early reports claim each could produce anywhere between 20,000 to 25,000 pounds of thrust. The WS-15 was designed for the J-20 stealth fighter, and scaling it up for a heavy bomber demands new materials and new cooling systems. While the B-21 uses fewer engines with higher efficiency, the H-20 has more engines for more redundancy. The B-21's intakes are shallow, hidden, and curved to ensure that radar waves never see the spinning fan blades inside. The inlets compress and diffuse air in a way that both cools and conceals. The H-20's intakes, based on leaked mock-ups and satellite imagery, appear slightly larger and are more similar to the B-2's older design. Engineers in China face the challenge of how to feed enough air to four powerful engines without exposing any metal to radar. The B-21's intakes are shaped for a world of advanced sensors and space-based detection, while the H-20's are for catching up. Infrared sensors can detect temperature differences in the sky from hundreds of miles away. The B-21 tackles this by managing heat at the source. The F-135 engines use advanced cooling channels, digital fuel control, and special exhaust shaping that spreads heat across the body before it ever leaves the aircraft. This means the Raider's exhaust exits wide and flat and blends into the background temperature of the sky. China's H-20 will likely bury its engines deep in the wing and mix cooler air before release. But that comes at a cost. Complexity, weight, and maintenance. But here's a question for you. Which method do you think will survive the next generation of infrared detection? Let us know in the comments below and we'll get back to this at the end of the video. The Raider's digital control systems mean every ounce of fuel is burned precisely, every turbine rotation measured in real time. The result is efficiency that allows it to fly farther with less thrust. The H-20 with older or less refined digital control may produce more power on paper but lose efficiency over long missions. It's the difference between muscle and mind, one brute, one surgical. The B-21's internal fuel load is estimated around 120,000 pounds with an effective range matching or exceeding the B-2's 6,000 miles. Its digital management allows real-time adjustments to airflow and fuel burn which extends range without more tanks. The H-20's range is one of China's most closely guarded secrets. Reports suggest between 5,000 and 7,500 miles. But with four engines burning hotter and faster, sustaining stealth at that distance becomes harder. To the naked ear, both bombers would sound like distant thunder. But sound can betray your position very easily in modern warfare. The B-21's engines are tuned with acoustic stealth in mind. Low frequency vibrations are dampened. The airflow paths are shaped to diffuse sound energy before it leaves the fuselage. Even ground sensors thousands of feet below would struggle to pick up its presence. The H-20, relying on four engines, naturally creates more turbulence. The Chinese may integrate noise suppression and fan design improvements, but four exhaust plumes mean four times the challenge of managing acoustic and infrared signatures. The result is that the B-21 glides through the dark while the H-20 thunders through it. 
At supersonic speeds and high altitudes, every degree of heat affects the metal. The B-21's F-135 derivatives use next-generation ceramic composites and internal cooling airflow to keep turbine blades at optimal temperatures. Even its engine bays are temperature-controlled to protect radar-absorbing coatings. The H-20 systems, though less understood, may incorporate China's newer ceramic alloys and thermal coatings derived from the J-20's WS-15 program. But scaling that to a bomber is a new frontier, where metal and heat both count. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Modern aircraft are only as smart as their engines. The B-21's digital, full-authority engine controls continuously adjust combustion and airflow. It communicates directly with the bomber's onboard AI-assisted systems to balance thrust and temperature and adapting in real time. The H-20's engine controls, likely based on earlier FADEX systems, are catching up. But without a fully integrated data network between engines, sensors, and flight computers, its response might be slower, less precise. It's the same contrast seen in smartphones and supercomputers where both can perform, but one learns and adapts on the fly. Four engines mean more thrust but also more inlets, more heat, and more weight. Two engines mean less redundancy but a cleaner stealth profile. The Raiders designers traded quantity for quality. Fewer engines means smarter airflow and lighter weight. The simpler logistics assure fewer chances of failure mid-flight. China's bomber embraced multiple engines to guarantee power even if one fails, but each additional engine multiplies the stealth challenges exponentially. In a way, these bombers represent America's confidence in precision versus China's confidence in power. In tomorrow's wars, detection will be the first weapon. Satellites, infrared networks, quantum radar, these are all tools that can scan the sky for jets. The B-21's engines were designed for this reality. Their entire goal is to generate as little information as possible, fewer hotspots and fewer edges. Each turbine cycle and ounce of exhaust is managed digitally to blur the aircraft's thermal outline. The result is an engine that erases its own presence. On the other hand, the H-20 is being built into that same battlefield, but with technology that still trails in sensor evasion. It will be stealthy, yes, but in a sky where even the smallest mistake can light up an entire screen, being almost invisible is not enough. The B-21's engines were built around modular design. Each engine can be swapped within hours through quick engine change units, minimizing downtime. Built-in digital diagnostics detect vibration, heat fluctuations, and metal fatigue before a human ever sees a wrench. The F-135 engine family has logged over half a million flight hours, giving engineers a deep database to predict every possible fault. The H-20's WS series engines, while advancing rapidly, are still catching up in reliability and heat tolerance. China's domestic turbine blade technology has improved, but issues like shorter service life and high maintenance intervals persist. The WS-15 is nearing operational readiness, yet scaling it to bomber-grade endurance is a challenge that demands years of testing. When you strip everything else away, range, shape, payload, what remains is the heat signature. That's the true test of stealth. The B-21's engines represent temperature management with smart control, fewer parts, lighter weight, and silent efficiency. The H-20's engines, however, represent the art of rapid advancement of thrust, metallurgy, and a desire to catch up fast. While one has decades of secret experience, the other is still learning how to vanish. The race for the perfect stealth bomber isn't about who flies faster, but who disappears better. The B-21 Raider and the H-20 show us two nations, two visions, and two engines chasing the same dream of dominance in the shadows. And that question we asked earlier, the B-21's method with digital management and smarter engines means it is more likely to hold up against next-generation infrared detection. High above the clouds, two bombers shape the future of air power. The B-2 Spirit, a ghost from the Cold War, and the B-21 Raider, America's newest shadow in the sky. Their wings may look alike, but the truth is hidden under the surface. The way they breathe, burn fuel, and hide heat reveals how war itself has evolved. The B-2's engines were built for a world of radar towers and dogfights. 
Despite the design of the B-21 remaining a mystery, it's rumored to be built for satellites, cyber warfare, and a battlefield that never sleeps. In the late 1980s, American engineers were tasked with the responsibility to build an aircraft that could strike defended targets deep into Soviet territory and escape unseen. That's how the B-2 Spirit was born. The design was a flying wing that minimized radar returns, and its engines were buried inside the airframe. The Spirit soon became a symbol of invisible power. It was a machine tailored for the two superpowers of the world, staring each other down. More than three decades later, the B-21 Raider entered the picture, and it reflected a very different world. Built in the 2020s, it faces not one rival, but many. It had to combat satellites, infrared sensors, and long-range missiles alike. Engineers knew they had to design an aircraft for adaptability and not just brute force. They made sure the B-21 was capable of flying more often and needed less maintenance. Most of all, it had to remain undetectable against technologies that didn't even exist when the B-2 was conceived. To achieve its mission, the B-2 relied on four General Electric F-118GE 100 engines. Each produced about 17,300 pounds of thrust and together gave the bomber nearly 70,000 pounds. They were hidden deep within the wing roots and used long S-shaped ducts to shield the fan blades from radar. The engines were chosen for how quietly and steadily they could push the aircraft across oceans. By suppressing exhaust heat and reducing noise, the Spirit could cruise more than 6,000 miles without refueling while staying under the radar. The B-21 takes that same idea but strips away the complexity. Instead of four smaller engines, it is believed to rely on two Pratt and Whitney F-135 derivatives, which is the same engine family that drives the F-35 fighter. Each may deliver around 28,000 pounds of thrust, enough that two can do the work of four. But the real magic lies in how they are managed. Where the Spirit relied on ductwork and fragile coatings, the Raider's engines use advanced composites and digital monitoring. The shift to a digital foundation was important because it was driven by the reality that modern threats like hypersonic missiles and space-based infrared sensors react faster than ever. Before we move forward, we have a question for you. With the B-21's engines likely fewer in number but more advanced in design, has the US traded redundancy for efficiency? Is the future about fewer, smarter engines rather than more simpler ones? Share your thoughts in the comments below. On paper, comparing thrust tells only part of the story. Four F-118s together gave the B-2 about 69,200 pounds of thrust. Two F-135 derivatives could give the B-21 more than 55,000 pounds. That seems less, but the Raider is designed to be smaller, lighter, and more efficient. The Spirit relied on 1980s materials and coatings that required massive cooling and frequent reapplication of radar-absorbing paint. Its engines were innovative but lacked the smart diagnostics and fuel control of today's systems. The Raider flips that. Its F-118-based engines use digital full-authority engine controls that monitor temperature, airflow, and vibration hundreds of times per second. They communicate constantly with onboard systems to keep the aircraft's heat signature as low as possible. Where the B-2 depended on ductwork to hide heat, the B-21 depends on intelligent regulation of combustion itself. For stealth aircraft, heat is just as dangerous as radar reflections. Infrared-guided missiles can lock onto exhaust plumes instantly. The B-2's F-118 solved this by burying exhaust deep inside the wing and mixing cooler bypass air before it exited. It worked, but the trade-off was enormous complexities in the ducting system, which increased weight and maintenance. The B-21's engines took this concept further. By starting with the F-135's higher bypass ratio and efficiency, engineers reduce overall exhaust temperatures at the source. The Raider has shallower intakes with curved inlets that completely shield engine faces from radar. Exhaust nozzles are flattened, stretched wide, and blended into the wing contour. This spreads the hot gases over a larger surface, cooling them faster before they leave the aircraft. Infrared stealth has become even more critical in recent decades. Modern satellites scan whole battlefields in multiple infrared bands. The Raider's engines aim to confuse those sensors by lowering exhaust contrast against background temperatures. The thing is, they know the aircraft can't be invisible forever, but it's about buying the seconds needed to pass through defenses unnoticed. If you like this video so far, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel. 
and let us know in the comments which one you think matters more in modern warfare, raw thrust like the B2 or digital efficiency like the B21. The B2 carries about 167,000 pounds of fuel, giving it a range of over 6,000 miles unrefueled. With aerial refueling, it can reach anywhere on the planet. But its engines burn fuel at Cold War rates and missions often require extensive support. The B-21 is designed with endurance in mind. Estimates suggest internal fuel loads of around 120,000 pounds, yet thanks to the efficiency of its F-135 derivatives and lighter airframe, its effective range may match or exceed the B-2. This matters most in the Indo-Pacific battlefield. Covering vast ocean distances requires tankers to operate close to hostile zones where they are exposed to long-range missiles. If the B-21 can strike with fewer refuelings, it reduces cost and operational risk because the bomber has a much higher chance of slipping in and out unseen. The B-2's engines demanded constant attention. Stealth coatings degraded quickly and engine access required time-consuming procedures. The Spirit Fleet spends far more time on the ground being serviced than in the air. At times, each flight hour required more than 100 hours of maintenance. But the B-21's engines are built for a new philosophy that is focused on ease of maintenance. Pratt and Whitney designed the Raiders' power plants with modular components, meaning units can be swapped quickly without removing entire assemblies. Built-in diagnostics allow crews to detect issues before they cause failures. This means less downtime and lower costs. Noise might seem irrelevant for bombers, but in modern warfare, even acoustic signatures matter. The B-2's four F-118s produce a distinct subsonic rumble detectable by some surveillance systems. The Raiders F-135-based engines are quieter and optimized to suppress infrared and radar signatures as well as acoustic ones. Engineers use advanced fans and bypass designs to reduce how sound carries, adding another layer to survivability. In a battle space increasingly filled with sensors of every type, silence can be as important as invisibility. The B-2 Spirit's engines were Cold War machines that were born in a time when survival meant penetrating the Soviet Union once and making sure to strike hard before returning home. Its F-118s were steady workhorses wrapped in radical stealth design. They symbolized brute endurance hidden under a cloak. The B-21 Raiders engines are digital age creations. They represent a shift toward efficiency and networked warfare. Instead of focusing on one strike, the Raider is meant to fly regularly, adapt to multiple missions, and remain stealthy without endless maintenance. When you line them side by side, the differences in engines reveal the differences in philosophy. The B-2 Spirit has four engines and modest thrust. It is focused on hiding heat and sound with clever ducting. The aircraft requires high maintenance, but definitely remains unmatched in its era. On the other hand, the B-21 Raider likely has two engines, high thrust, and it is digitally controlled. Additionally, it is optimized for stealth with efficiency. You can look at the model and see that it has been built for reliability and frequent missions. One represents the peak of 20th century stealth. The other represents the dawn of 21st century adaptability. While the B-2 Spirit's engines proved that stealth could work on a massive scale, the B-21 Raider's engines proved that stealth can evolve into something smarter and more enduring. Which philosophy do you think defines the future of air power, the Spirit or the Raider? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed exploring these hidden differences, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned. We'll be back with more deep dives into the secret world of legendary aircraft engines.